Hi everyone and thank you for joining me today. My name is Camarina Augusto and I work for the County of San Diego. Due to COVID-19, um, these videos are being made to equip you with resources if you are staying inside and limiting your in-person interactions or if you simply are interested in learning more about different phone applications. So today I'm going to go over a great free resource known as Skype. So Skype can be downloaded on your mobile device as well as your desktop computer. Um, for purposes of this video, I will be going over the mobile device application to help you stay connected to family and friends, both locally and globally. Um, the app uses your internet connection or Wi-Fi, so you are able to send messages, make phone calls, and video chat for free. So let's get started. Before we begin with the presentation, there are a few tips I wanted to go over with you guys. First, while we are going through this video, I encourage you to follow along on your own device. Second, feel free to grab a pen and paper and take notes throughout this tutorial. Lastly, please pause or rewind this video at any time if you need to follow the process at a slower pace. The first thing you will do is go to the App Store on your mobile device. For Android users, this will be called the Google Play Store, and for iPhone users, this will be the App Store. Once you open the App Store, you will press search and type in Skype. Once the app pops up on your screen, you will install it onto your phone. Once the app is installed on your phone, you will go to the app and open it. As shown on the screen, it will give you the option to sign in or to create an account. If you already have an account, you will enter in your information and then select Next to sign in. If it is your first time using the Skype app, you will select Create an Account. After you log in, you will be taken to the home page. On the upper left-hand corner, which shows a picture of a bell, is where your notifications for missed calls and messages will be. In the middle, you will see your initials, and when you click on this, it will show your account information. On the upper right hand side, which looks like a pencil and piece of paper, is where you can write a new message. The search bar towards the top of the screen allows you to search for friends, groups, and messages. At the bottom of the screen where it says chats is where you can view all of your current chat conversations. The phone in the middle, labeled calls, is where you can view recent calls or make a phone call. To the bottom right is the contacts icon. When you select this icon, you can view all of your contacts, including those who don't have Skype, and you can also invite a friend to Skype. Lastly, you can sync your contacts. This means the contacts you have in your phone can be imported into the Skype app to easily help you find your friends. Under the chat icon, you can also manage your conversations. If you select a chat and swipe left, three dots will appear that say more. When you select the three dots, a list of options will pop up, such as add to favorites, mark as unread, delete conversation, or leave group. To create a new chat, you will select the pencil and paper icon in the upper right hand corner. When you select this icon, your contacts will appear and you can choose who you want to start a conversation with. In order to create a group chat, you will select the new group chat button. Here is where you can scroll through your contacts and add the people you would like. Once the group chat is created, you can enter a group name and then select the arrow to continue. Once you select a contact, there are many different functions you can select to communicate with your friends and family. You can video chat, call them, type a message, send content, send emojis, use the dictate button to talk instead of type your message, and send a video. For those of you who may not be familiar with emojis, emojis are pictorial symbols that are presented in a colorful form and used within a message. Some symbols include faces, weather, animals, plants, or icons that represent emotions, feelings, and activities. This is a fun way to connect and communicate. When you select send photo or video, 
another screen will pop up. You can send a photo or video from your album, switch the camera view, zoom in, or take a current photo or video. You will select the X button in the upper left hand corner to exit the screen. Under the call icon, you can sync the contacts from your address book or manually enter in a phone number. As a reminder, syncing your contacts means the contacts you have in your phone can be imported into the Skype app. On this page, you can also call one or more people and start a video chat as well. If you would like to start a video chat, you will select the camera icon. After you begin the video chat, this screen will appear. The mini screen on the right hand corner is what the other person sees. To switch the camera view, select the white button. During your video chat, you can also go to your chats, choose a different audio source, take a screenshot, mute the call, turn the camera off, or end the call. When you select the three dots on the right lower hand corner of the screen, other video chat options will appear. You can choose if you would like to allow incoming calls or for subtitles to be on. Other functionalities include adding people to the video call, recording the call, sending a heart, or sharing your screen. Lastly, within your account information page, you can click on settings to receive additional help. Under the Get Help button, you will first select the device you are using to access Skype. Once you input the device you are using, you can select the specific topic you need assistance with, or you can chat with a virtual agent. Thank you for your time today. Below this YouTube video in the description, you will find the Skype website link, which includes how to contact their customer service if you need further assistance. Also, how to contact the County of San Diego if you have further questions regarding this specific training and links to access our other YouTube video trainings. Thank you and continue to live well, San Diego. I'll see you next time.